then a new Nimbatus episode, which is going to be sort of a half episode, because in this episode I'm going to cover what, how to use decouplers or the mechanical parts for hinges and for gates. I think that would be quite cool. And someone in the comments asked me to do this, so I hope this, this tutorial will help you. Okay, so let's go in order. So the first one is a free hinge. So place that one down and let's just add a block to it. And if you want to add a, anything to a different block, just press on it. When that sort of eight comes up and then it goes, then the parts connect to that block. So connect it to that. And I also built a little vehicle. And as you can see, the free hinge will just move about freely, just, just as the name implies. So now it's the motorized hinge. So as you can see, rotate right, it's E, and rotate left, it's Q. So let's just add a block to it. Let's just add this one. Go into test flight and Q and E. And oh, messed it up a bit, forgot to connect it. Uh, so always remember to connect it up. And as you can see, now it rotates with E and Q, which is quite cool. So now the decoupler. So you place that down. Now the decouple key, um, I might as well set it right now for left shift and add a block to it. Oh, forgot to connect it again. Oh, come on. Finally. Now. I, if I am moving right now, it's still connected, but if I press the left shift, it will un uncouple and it will just go away. So I will also do some sensors, so the distance sensor, the speed sensor, and the directional sensor. You probably have seen the, the directional sensor in my other episodes, but I might as well show it off. So place the di distance sensor down. Now detection event, uh, let's do W. So now I uh, do if gate, I'll show you later on how gates work, but input W, so output W as well, and if I'll press S I'll go down up to this, and come on, if it'll touch then it, my thrusters will make it go back, so that's how it works. Now I'm going to do the speed sensor, so place that down, now have an if gate, also, and to show it off, I'll just add a shield. So, go into the speed sensor and speed reached, do left shift. Remember to set the small energy shield to left shift. And also, because you have a shield, remember to add some solar panels or just anything with energy. The small ones will do, but I don't, I'm not sure if they will be able to hold the shield up. So now in the if gate, input left shift and output left shift. So now test flight. So if I'll reach 10 meters per second, the shield will go up. Now if I'll slow down, it should... Okay, so I think you need more... Yeah, I think you need more of the if gates, but you get the idea. Now it's time for the directional sensor. So place that down, twist it. So this gray part is going up. So now do tilted right to Q, or just any key that you won't use. Now tilted left to E. Now let's place down some thrusters. Okay, turn that a bit around. Now do this one to Q, do this one. The opposite one has to be the opposite key that you set. Q and E. And I'll just place down a, a thruster down. So yeah, I might as well do W. And, okay, so I messed it up. For, leave it, leave a great part looking down. So now press, yep, and as you can see it's going to stabilize, which is quite cool. Now it's finally time for the logic parts, which are the gates. So firstly the button, so place that down, so, so do output left shift, and I might as well place down a shield. You can do this on anything you want, but I'm just doing it for testing purposes. Now activate left shift, and yeah, it should work. So yeah, as you can see, it activates the shield. So now let's do the if gate, so I will use both the button, and the if gate, and I might as well use the shield as well. So the button, let's this time do Q, and the if gate, so input Q and output left shift, and set the small energy shield to left shift. So now, yep, it works, which is good. Okay, so now let's do the not gate, so place that down. So input, let's do Q, and output, let's do left shift again, so the shield, place that down and do that to left shift, so, what do I, yeah, Q, so it's going to be on, but if I press Q, 
then the shield will turn off, which is quite useful in some in some cases. So now it's an AND gate, so place that down. And input 1 lets do Q, and input 2 lets do E. And output lets do left shift again, so I can use it on a shield. Set that to left shift, so test flight. So if I press only one of them, as you can see it lights up, but I need both to, to turn on the actual shield. So if I take off one, then it turns off. If I take off the other, it turns off. I'd need both, or otherwise it doesn't work. Now this is the opposite of the last gate, which is the OR gate, which if you only press one of the keys it turns on. So let's do Q and E again, and left shift, and you have a small energy shield. And now if I press Q, it turns on, but if I press both... Okay, that's a bit weird, it should... Okay, so I guess it does work with only one of them. Okay, so now it's the NAND gate, which is just pretty much an AND gate, but also activates the output key if only one of the input keys or no key is pressed. So let's do input 1 to Q, input 2 to E, and output left shift. So if I press, I don't press anything, it turns on. If I press both, it turns off. If I have only one of them, it still turns on. Now it's the XOR or XOR key, which I messed up with the OR gate, but yeah, so this one, if you only press one, it turns on. So output left shift, Q and E. So if I press Q, for example, it turns on. If I press Q and E, it, it turns off. So if I only have E, it turns on, and then if both, then it turns off. So now it's time for the switch, which is pretty much just a toggle. So let's do that on Q and activate left shift. So if I press Q, it'll turn on. If I leave it, if I stop pressing Q, then it still is on. But then if I press it again, it turns off. So on and off, on and off which is quite useful sometimes. So now it's the impulse giver, so place that down, activate time, so yeah, just leave that on normal if you want to change it, then you can change it. Now impulse active, so left shift, because the shield takes in left shift, so yeah, every I think every second it should activate the shield, as you can see. And I can change this to active time, to, be, to about two seconds, so it'll be on for a bit longer, for about two seconds. Then it will go on uh, for about two seconds, and you can change the pause time to a bit longer if you want, so that the charging phase takes a bit longer. Okay, so now lastly the LED, which isn't really a logic part, but might as well use it, so place that down. So whatever colour you want, so input, let's do left shift, input, let's, do left sh let's get rid of this shield because we don't need it. Now impulse active, left shift, and let it go load it, or charge up and then it will turn on. So yeah, the LEDs are quite cool, you can make your spaceship or vehicle look quite cool with them. I think that I'm going to end this here, thank you for watching and I hope that you have enjoyed and learned something new from this tutorial and I hope to see you in the next one. And tell me in the comments section below if you want me to do any more tutorials such as this one.